Okay guys, this is Ray. So today we're gonna talk about uh, listing prep, uh, preparation. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is uh, what do you need to do? We're gonna talk about is what you need to do to uh, prepare the listing appointments. So number one, you need to obviously do a comparable. You wanna see what the price range is uh, in the, um, for, for this property. And also uh, what you wanna talk, what you wanna check out is how much more or less people are paying for the home. So for example, in an area, you know, one area you may have people, let's say if the listing price is $500,000, uh, if you see people are continually to, uh, you know, uh, uh, offering more higher prices, for example, people are uh, offering, uh, you know, 520, 530. So basically you check out recently sold homes. You, you compare the listing price versus the sold price. So if it's higher, then you know that in the market, people are wanting, buyers are wanting to pay more for the house. So in some area, let's say if you, let's say if the listing price is on average 500,000, people are buying it for 480, 470, then you know in that area, in a different area, people are not wanting to pay more. They, they, want, they want to bargain uh, versus the asking price. So also another one you want to look at is how much they bought the home for. Uh, that way you kind of know, you know, what kind of expectation they have because more, nobody wants to, you know, um, uh, sell home and lose money, uh, depending on what situation they're in. Sometimes if they're, um, if, they, in the, if they're in a hurry to sell, maybe they, you know, they were willing to uh, uh, sell for less. But in most cases, you know, people want to sell more for the price they bought it for. Okay, so that's the listing presentation. So before you go to a listing, you want to send them a pre-sale package. So this pre-sale package, Ideally, you, you, it would be a physical box where you have all the information in there. Uh, and uh, before you go to the listing appointment, you, you mail the box to them or you have somebody deliver it to them. Uh, but sometimes, you know, if logistically, if just too much work, maybe you can make a website. So what I do is I have a website link. So on the link, it will have all this information. So I'll send that text to the client, uh, take place of my listing pre-sale package. So in this pre-sale package, you want to have this information, right? So you want to make sure you have uh, you know, uh, instruction of what you do, and you want to have your, uh, you know, statistics of your, your of your success cases, your your numbers, like how many homes you sold, uh, you know, all these success numbers, right? And also, you want to uh, have a whole bunch of reviews. You want to have clients review in there. Uh, you know, that shows that you know you're doing a good job. You have a lot of happy, satisfied customers, and uh, of obviously, you know, you want to have the past sales. Uh, and also, uh, another thing you want to include is what's worthy costs, right? So for example, let's say every home I sell, I donate a portion of the income to the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. So pick whatever, you know, cost you have. It could be military, it could be, you know, Children's Hospital, it could be whatever. So just put a, pick a cost and put it in there. Because, you know, when people see that you are not just out there to make more money, that you're also, you know, uh, Doing something for the community, you know, it's 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 a very good uh, thing for the for the buyer, I mean, for the seller to see. Okay, that's it for uh, listing preparation. Until next time.